CT Big Kids and parents, we are super stoked to kick off the school year with you because we are going to start with an amazing virtue called creativity, using your imagination to create something new. And it's going to be an amazing month. So August 6th is a Together Sunday, so our first through fifth graders are worshiping with their grown-ups in the main worship. It's our last one. We're going to get excited and geared up for what God is going to do in the lives of your kiddos this week fall and all throughout the spring. But then on August 13th, we're all coming back together to start talking about creation. And we're going to start at the beginning because that's a good place to start. We're going to go over the creation story and talk about how God created us to be created. That's right. We're made in God's image. And so what he does at creation when he makes us is he shares with us this desire to share himself. Uh, we're going to have a great opportunity to explore what that looks like with your kids and start talking about what ways are they creative. In fact, that's our start the conversation question. How are you creative? And then the next week, we are going to move forward to Ephesians 2.10, where we talk about how God created you for a purpose. We want your kids to understand that they weren't just created just to be, but that God actually puts a purpose inside each and every one of us. And part of the story of our lives is learning more about who God is and who God created us to be. We're basing that on Ephesians 2.10, okay, which says, for you are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good things, which God prepared in advance for you to do. So if you'll join us in starting to pray about that your kid would start to see that God made them for a purpose and to start asking God to reveal those purposes for your child's life right here and right now. And then our start the conversation question is going to kind of build off of that, which is what is something that you think God's given you to do? We can start praying and sharing that in our small groups. And then the last week, we're going to talk about the tabernacle. So we're going to go back into the Old Testament, but talk about how God provided creativity as a way for us to honor him. That the gifts and the ways he's wired us, the way he's made us, are an act of worship. And so we can use those as a way to show honor to God and point people to him. And so our start the conversation question is, what are creative ways that you can honor God? We want our kids to start thinking about how their gifts and skills and talents are acts of worship that can be offered back to God and can be used whether they're at school or on the playground or on the soccer field or in a dance studio to be able to point people to Jesus. And that's our month. We are really excited for August and all that it is going to mean as your BT Big Kid gets to discover more about how God made them and made them to be creative and made them to point people to Him. All right, we can't wait to see you guys. Bye.